Can we normalize not having tattoos? <laughs> I'm just saying. So I have none. No tattoos at all. <laughs> I remember when I was in my early 30s and I was out having pizza with some friends and they were comparing their tattoos. That's cool, you know? And then of course they said, hey Maria, where are your tattoos? Let's see yours. And I said, I don't have any tattoos. Y'all, this was over 20 years ago. <laughs> and they looked at me like I had two heads. <laughs> And they, they were just puzzled, like, you don't have any tattoos? Who does that? And I said, no, I don't have any tattoos. I said, I like my skin. I said, it's so pretty. My skin is so pretty. Why would I want to mark it up? And they really just looked surprised at me. <laughs> so when you are confident in who you are, then there's a less there's less chance that you will give in to peer pressure, okay? Especially negative peer pressure. Not that getting tattoos is negative. I'm just saying it's not for me. It's not something I want to do. So if you don't want to get a tattoo, you don't have any yet, and you're like, no, I, I like my skin. It's pretty just the way it is, <laughs> like me, then don't give in to any peer pressure for doing anything that you don't want to do, right? Um, you don't have to do what other people are doing just to be uh, a part of the crowd or to be in, okay? You don't have to be that way. Be confident in who you are. Stand your ground for what you uh, desire to do or don't desire to do, stand your ground. Be pleasant about it. I was pleasant about it. I didn't say anything ugly about tattoos. I don't have anything to say about tattoos whatsoever. I just don't want any on my body. So I just said, speaking for myself and only for me, <laughs> no, I like my skin. It's pretty just the way it is. It's not saying anything negative to them, about them, about their tattoos. Didn't start preaching to them. Nope, none of that. Just, no, no thank you. I like my skin just the way it is. So become confident in who you are, in your character, in what you stand for. Come back with a, a positive response as to why you don't wanna do certain things a certain way if it doesn't serve you for who you are and your character and, and um, <laughs> your core values, all right? So be confident, stay confident. Think ahead of time of what your answers will be when peer pressure does come up. Speaking for yourself, okay? Instead of pointing at others, just point to yourself. This is why I don't do this is why I'm not interested in, okay? Just focus inward <laughs> instead of you, 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 this is why you shouldn't, okay? And just be an example of a positive, confident person. That's all you have to do. So this is Coach Maria. Have a fantastic day.